Welcome to Sports. I'm Michael Gross. Heritage Hills is among an elite group of undefeated teams, all with the same goal in mind, a state championship. And last week, the Patriots grabbed another shutout victory, 10-0 against North Posey in the battle of the unbeatens. And to talk about the win and his team, we bring in the head coach of Heritage Hills, Todd Wilkerson. Todd, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So was 5-0 and on the radar for your team in early August, or did this kind of take you by surprise? You know, I don't know about 5-0, and oh, but I, th I think we knew we had a good group. Uh, we knew we had some pieces that had to come along. Uh, you know, our offensive line, we felt, was talented, but we needed to, to play physical and, and get the run game going, and they've done a nice job of doing that. Um, we have a few sophomores who are playing this year, and, and they've done a real nice job this year. So I, I think we felt we could be a, a really good football team, but until you get out there and start playing, uh, you never know. Defensively, your team has been very strong. You haven't allowed a point since the 1st of September. Just 43 passing yards allowed for North Posey last week. What's been the, the proponent of the success for this defense? You know, I, I, uh, I feel like our defense has been good. We've given up some yards, but, but we've just made big plays when we've had to to stop drives, I think. Uh, we've had some, some turnovers, some key turnovers. We've taken the ball away quite a bit from people, uh, a lot of times through fumbles. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I just think we're playing more sound, disciplined defense this year than we did last year. Last year we got away from uh, um, a few things we've done in the past, and, and we, we got back to those things this year scheme-wise, and I think it's allowing our kids to be more aggressive. Uh, and, and play more sound on Friday nights. Hey, well, you took over for the great Bob Clayton in 2012. And, you know, p taking over a team like that and, and trying to preserve his legacy throughout this team, you've done some of that season to season. But with this team, what, what, what makes it so great and so special is your two, you know, maybe all state caliber players and Jet Goldsberry and Braden Durham uh, on the offensive side of the ball. What makes this team different than maybe some other teams that you've coached? Well, you know, I, I don't know. It it really is it, when you have those special teams, those championship teams. You got to have some really good senior leaders, and we have that in Braden and some of the other seniors we have. And then you've got to have kids that just can go out and make plays. You know, it. it I don't care who you are as a coach. Um, if you don't have some athletes who can go out there and be spectacular on occasion, uh, you're going to struggle going deep in the playoffs or, or win a championship. So, you know, we feel like we have those guys. Uh, Jet works harder than any other kid, I feel like, in, in uh, high school football. He wants to be great. He works very hard in practice, and, and that work pays off on Friday nights. Same with Braden. You know, Braden's had a dream of playing college football, and he's worked really, really hard uh, to put himself in position to possibly play college football. So, you know, those two guys with their work ethic have led us, and it, and it takes – leaders like that to motivate others to say hey we have something special here you know let's let's go out and and uh, you know see what happens do our best and, tr and try to win a championship coach in 2019 you started the season off six and oh you beat gibson southern to get that sixth win you haven't beaten them since you've lost four consecutive times to them and now you play them here with a chance to go again six and oh what sticks out to you about this gibson southern team and how do you guys get over the hump well, you know, they're very good as usual. You know, Coach Hart does a tremendous job over there. Uh, they played a great schedule. The good thing about what's going on in Southern Indiana lately in 3A is it seems that uh, there's there's some strong teams every year, and, and we beat up on each other, and, and whoever uh, gets out of that mess, it, it usually has a chance to go deep into the tournament. So we feel like... This game, uh, even though Gibson Southern is not in our sectional this year, this game is, is a championship game as far as the conference, and then it's going to show us where we are in terms of uh, what we have to do to get ready for the tournament. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Best of luck this week against the Titans. Uh, thank you again. I appreciate you having us. Well, that is Coach Todd Wilkerson of Heritage Hills Football. We'll be right back.